today I'm with a plaza. A plaza, how old are you? 18. A plaza, how long have you been using blues? Three years. You started when you were about 15? Yeah. Who introduced you to blues back then? Really myself. You found them on the street or somebody get yeah. nobody offered them to you? You didn't buy them no. from anybody? No. Okay. And uh, does your family know that you're struggling with this addiction? Yeah. Have they tried to help you or anything? Kind of. And you're, you're, are you not ready to accept help yet or what? I am. I just feel like I don't need help because I'm not stuck on them. Because I could, I do it once in a while. Like, I can quit it if I wanted to. I can do them if I wanted to, you know. I, I'm not, I'm not addicted to them. You're, it's just something I do for fun. You're in control? Yeah. Uh, and where are you headed? Right now. right now, I'm trying to enroll myself in school tomorrow. Okay. So I can, I'm going to be a super senior, but um, I'm still, I'm still going to make it in life. I want to be the, I want to be a fashion designer. Who, uh, what fashion designers will you be like? Who are your, like, idols in the fashion industry? Um... To me, I see Kim Petras as a fashion designer, even though she's more like an artist. It's just, I like what she wears. Um, she's, a, she's a pop singer, but she's not a fashion designer, but I, I think she could be a fashion designer if she really wanted to. So she's one of my biggest. I don't really look up to Gucci and all them. I like their stuff, but I don't really look up to them as my idols. You don't like their their story or how it's, they... It's not that I don't like their story. It's just like they have it made, you know? And some people don't have it made. Some people got to struggle from down dirt, you know? Some people, uh, like me, I got... DCS messed up my childhood. It messed up my school years. So thanks to them, I can't graduate on time. I wasn't able to graduate on time. Like, my generation is already in college right now. And... I'm like still stuck on high school, you know, thanks to DCS for sending me in and out of juvie, in and out of mental hospitals, like for doing all that stuff, in and out of group homes, like they messed me up and it's thanks to them. DCS is Department of Child uh, Services. Yeah. They ruined your childhood, you think? Yeah, they did. And I am going to sue them for it. Yeah, get a lawyer and uh, see what the lawyer tells you. Get you know, tell them your story and hopefully they can help you, right? Yeah. So you're you're on your way to go to because you're trying to graduate. You're, you're. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna go somewhere to get help with that. Yeah, because no offense to the people that do the GED program, but just doing the GED program, um, just gets you community college. It doesn't get you fully into a college um like a successful college you know it just gets you in community college like you're just on the outlines of college you're not fully in it i want to be in it you want to be successful yeah and what what do you what's in your uh, luggage really all my clothes and makeup and food so, so are you out here on the street, like basically homeless? Yeah, I am. Is it true that once you're, you turn 18, uh, Department of Child Services, they just let you tell you you have to go? Or how does that work? Um, they give you an option to stay in the program until you're 21. Really, once you turn 21, they kick you out. So. You chose not to stay? Yeah, I chose not to stay. Because I don't want them ruining my life even more. I'd rather ruin my own life than them ruin, it, ruin my life. But I'm not going to ruin my life. 
you uh, mentioned that uh, you wanted to talk about how you identify you identify as a as a female. Uh, yeah. How does that affect you being out here on the street? You're by yourself. You're homeless, going battling addiction. How does that come into play? In your your well, identity. Well, I'm not really battling addiction. It's more of a of a flamboyant problem um per se really um I just had a brain fog what, what did she say what was your question you uh you identify as a female so how does that does that oh yeah that that's that's hard it's honestly hard hard for who for you for the people that you encounter out here it's definitely hard for me I can say that because um, they look at you different. They have this stereotype for for transgenders that they're they're just that gender. Like no matter even if they switch their gender, do the hormones, do everything, they're still gonna have the stereotype of that transgender being that gender that they were. You know, they aren't open minded. They're they look at you and then they think they can't date you because. You're transgender because it'll look bad on them because their friends will talk back talk down on you or make fun of you make fun of your partner because you're with them or because um because of their choices but really it's not really their choices it's really what they're guided to do in life they're when we all come into life we we choose our path we choose how we're gonna go throughout things, so we could, so we could um, learn learn lessons. What lessons have you learned being out here, trying to make it on your own? Really, the streets are cold. They're really cold. They're um. You don't. You don't want to be on the street. That's. You don't want to be on the street, especially in winter time. You think summer's hot? Oh, try winter. Try winter. Um, lessons that I've learned just to keep to myself and and stay true to myself, stay true to who I am, and keep following my dreams. Keep keep pursuing what I want to do in life. What advice would you have for younger people that are, they want to live a flamboyant life, they want to be cool with their friends, and they're going to try, whether it's blues or G, or just be rebellious at home any advice for them about living this lifestyle, this flamboyant lifestyle? Just take precaution in what you're doing because the people think, people made perks seem like a bad thing because they smoke it and they keep smoking it and keep smoking it their first time. So they OD when really um, the first time you smoke a perk, you hit it once and you don't feel nothing. You hit it again. Then you start feeling like woozy, like like you're at a party, you know, like you want to jump up and down, like you know you feel like like everything's going sideways and sh and and stuff, and um. So really, just take precaution, just like limit limit yourself to what you can handle and what you can't handle, and don't force yourself into doing things that your friends like press on you because it is hard because you don't want to look like a bum like a bum to them you know you don't want to look like like you can't do it you want to look like you can do it like like you got it in the bag you know like just your life isn't worth a few words a few actions your life isn't worth being cool for a moment so uh 
thank you for the words uh, to the young people out there. Um, I would say just young people shouldn't try any of that stuff at all because can a 13, 14, 15 year old really understand to limit themselves? And they don't understand what that means, so they no. just shouldn't try it to begin with, you know? Uh, once you're an adult, you, you do whatever you want, but yeah. you know, basically I would say just you know, be be who you are, but just be safe and stay away from this stuff, you know? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say thank you very much for talking to me. I really appreciate you uh, sharing your story. Uh, please get better, get well, seek help, and uh, stay safe out of here, okay? It's very dangerous, okay? Yeah, I just want to say, like, everybody keep an open mind and don't judge too quickly because the more you judge, the more you dig yourself deeper in a hole. Really, you're digging yourself deep in a hole that that's going to be really muddy for you to climb out. Absolutely. So, thank you very much. Yeah. We'll talk soon, okay? Yeah, thank you.